Well, welcome back. 15 of best chefs from around the country are competing on the newest season of Bravo's hit show, Top Chef. The two local chefs are representing Houston in what promises to be a sizzling culinary showdown. They are Don Burrell and Sasha Grumman, and these ladies are joining us now with all the details. Welcome to Houston Life. Hi, ladies. Hey, how I, are you? For I am us. so excited. My husband and I are Top Chef junkies. We watch every season. We even rewatched some of the seasons because that's mm -hmm. just how we do it. And I'm always starving at the end of every episode. So um, okay. if I have to go through both of your resumes, we're going to need another 30 minutes here. But Dawn, <laughs> let me start with you. First of all, besides being an acclaimed chef, we know and love you from, of course, the Southern restaurant culture. Um, you earned your first James Beard nomination there as best chef in Texas of 2020. Um, you also represented the U.S. at the long jump in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. You know, just a small minor thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the transition was, um, it's actually pretty smooth uh, because my athletic career kind of prepared me for what it is that I do right now. Right. Um, you know, required this, this uh, is a different discipline that requires like your total dedication um, to it. And you have to really hone your craft in this industry. And, um, and I was ready for it. It's really incredible. Where did the, the love of cooking come from, Don? Oh, I mean, I have such amazing memories uh, from my childhood. Um, we used to gather around a uh, table as a family and just enjoy each other's company. And my grandmother was an amazing cook, and as well as lots of my aunts. And so we just, they would just kind of put to, um, have like potlucks on every given holiday. Um, and we, I just loved food so much because it, it would kind of warm my soul for those uh, events. And, and uh, I think that's where it just started growing from. And I think when uh, chefs truly love what they do, it comes out in the kitchen, it comes out in the oh, dishes. Yes. And Sasha, you're raised in a large Sicilian family. You went to French Culinary Institute in New York, landed in Houston, yeah. of course, as the executive chef of Rosalie Italian Soul. Girl, I need to yeah. get my hands on your focaccia bread. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, it is amazing. You know <laughs> Don's at it. Um, yeah. What started out as just a small little endeavor uh, really turned into something amazing where it was received so well and people really enjoyed eating it. And it's kind of, you know, helping me expand into new opportunities right now. So I'm super, super grateful. Well, I'm so glad that we can claim we, as in Houston, can claim yeah. you talented ladies on this next season of Top Chef. I just have to ask you both, I mean, what was your reaction when they said you're selected in this next season of Top Chef? Uh, do you want to go well, first? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, I definitely sobbed and um, was definitely in like a total frame of shock because you know, it was a dream. It's a dream to be on the show and to be recognized for your talents and, you know, to have people believe in you. And it was just one of those moments where I'll never forget, you know, that phone call and I'll never forget calling my mother mm -hmm. and like her reactions. And it was just such an amazing, amazing feeling. And then it was like, all right, you got to get ready because this is no joke <laughs> mm -hmm. anymore. <laughs> right, you got to get going. <laughs> Dawn, I see you yeah. nodding. I hear you. I mean, you've got to have the, sort of the same reaction. Yeah, it, it was absolutely everything that she, that Tasha just said. Um, I was actually, I was in the middle of my workout when I received my phone call. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was pushing myself, you know, getting ready just in case. And you know, um, and I received a phone call and I just like, I could not stop jumping up and down. I could not stop celebrating and sobbing as I was saying, like, it's like, oh my gosh. And my heart started racing. I had to sit down and I got up and started jumping again. It was crazy. But it was like, it was really, it was, it was great. It was like, um, it was like sort of being validated for the talent that you have. You know, you want, you know, you want to push yourself to the limit. You want to challenge yourself. Um, to reach new heights, and and this is like the perfect perfect opportunity for that, the perfect pl platform. Absolutely, and I was accepted. And you two ladies yeah. can stand on your own two feet in this competition. Uh, but in season 18, I mean, there's so many talented chefs that have come and gone. Yeah. Of course, you're cooking for, for world-renowned chefs and, and food mm -hmm. writers. So the pressure is on. Also, this show is a little bit di different. This season was filmed during the pandemic. 
So was That's that right. what was that like, Sasha? <laughs> Um, that was a lot of nasal swabbing every other day. <laughs> and, uh, there was a lot of the bubble life, but you know, that's the only top chef that we know is right. pandemic top chef. So that's kind of our introduction and what we have to reference. So it was just one more step, you know, it wasn't something that was going to hurt any of us in any way for the competition. You know, we were all going through the same thing, which I think kept us especially me saying during that process was we're all in this together. And I think it's so great too to shine a light of course on restaurants and chefs who have truly been hurt so incredibly um, during this pandemic and so it's something that really needs to jumpstart once again. Um, ladies don't go anywhere because we're playing what we like to do here at Houston Life. We love to play a good game. A little thumbs up thumbs down. So we're going to run you through all the details. We do want to let everybody know season 18 of Top Chef is coming your way this week on April 1st but don't go away because after the break we are putting you both to a test with a fun game but first we're going to check in with Joe Sam for some